team, isipin nyo directed sa sarili nyo for now. Okay? So, yung first activity na gusto kong gawin ninyo, actually, may a little background to eh, na medyo mm, si silly ba? Pero, sinasatin dito yung mahilig mag, ano, mahilig mag di dear diary. Mm. Yeah. Sa, sa totoo lang, may mga volumes na ako. <laughs> Yes, I have volumes of uh, my dear diary. Yung mga notebook na hindi nagagamit nung elementary, yun na yung pinagsusulatan ko ngayon. Kasi mahal ang, ano, <laughs> mahal ang journal. So, yun na pinagsusulatan ko. At marami na akong naipon. And nasubukan nyo na bang ilok basahin yung mga diary nyo dati? Mm. Diba yung diary? May diary pa ako from 12 years old. Wow! At at nababasa ko pa, hindi ko kilala ang taong yung sulat ng diary na yun. <laughs> Sino kaya yun? Hindi ko siya kilala. Ganun yung ano. Pero, <laughs> hindi pala ako yun. Ibang journal pa rin binabasa ko. Pero ako yun. In a different phase in my life. So, ngayon kasi, uh, medyo ano tayo, mixed group tayo, no? Meron tayong mga nasa high school. Right? Ba akala ko nag-raise ng hands si ano. Meron tayong high school. Inside high school pa lang. Meron tayong college. Currently, college age. And meron din tayong mga graduates na. Pero feeling youth pa rin. In in <laughs> Pero youth pa rin. Yan. Youth pa rin sila kasi either kakagraduate nyo, andun kayo sa parang transition between um, graduate na ako pero hindi pa ako nag-work, hindi ko pa. Sa totoo lang, pag nag-work ka, tsaka mo lang mararamdaman ang real world. So, okay pa. Yung mga college grad or med school grad, okay lang <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Hindi ko rin na-feel ang real world until nagtrabaho ako. <laughs> so, alam ko yung feeling ni Ace kasi feeling ko kakagraduate ko ng college nung nag-graduate ako ng med school. Kasi dere-derecho tayo eh, di ba? Parang tuloy-tuloy lang na nag-aaral. So, habang nasa school ka, pakiramdam mo, andun ka pa rin sa age na yon. So, okay lang yon. Don't be conscious about your age. Uh, pero, In this stage of your life, meron akong gustong ipa-reflect lang sa inyo. Okay. Since we're talking about our relationship status, walang kopyahan ha? Dapat may distance kayo. May folder. <laughs> okay. Exam to. Oh. Ang title ng isusulat nyo sa pages na yan is My Ideal Partner. Yeah. Na-excite kayo lahat, ano? Kasi lahat kayo meron. May checklist kayo, no? <laughs> okay. Sige. So, for the start of our talk, for 10 minutes, kaya ba? Okay. We're given 10 minutes. Ito nyo na. Isipin. My ideal partner. Okay. So, go. Uh, again, <laughs> walang kopyahan. No limit. Hindi ko. <laughs> Kahit na. <laughs> Kung kailangan nyo ng extra, marami pa ako. It's very specific. May nunan. Pangalan daw sa wala. <laughs> well, um, okay. Walang magbabasa niyan. It's yours. Okay? Kaya sabi ko walang kopyahan, walang tingin na ng papel. Because this is personal. Tignan nyo sa loob, isipan ninyo sa puso ninyo, sino yung ideal na partner ko in life. <laughs> Ay. Sige, sige. Okay. So you're gonna Sorry, wala, wala. Wala na. 
Wow. Wow. Oh, 10 minutes, ah. Gusto nyo maglagay ng tao? <laughs> Nationality. <laughs> Ay, ay, sige. Kala ko kailangan mo ng second page. <laughs> oh, wala. Uh, again, walang kopyahan, walang... No judgment. Kung ano man ang isulat niyo dyan, remember, it's all for you. Parang, parang dear diary lang yan. <laughs> dear diary, in the future. <laughs> Gusto nyong i-drawing, okay lang. <laughs> Wala namang magbabasa. Walang magbabasa. Pag natapos nyong isulat, i-fold nyo yung paper para walang nakakita. <laughs> hindi namin papasubmit, hindi namin babasahin. <laughs> Ay, sinubmit. <laughs> Kung gusto mo nyong isubmit, ako lang. Popost namin. Ay, ako ate isa. Para post, para Ano gaano kataas ang standards mo? 6 foot. Isa pa ni i-publish 'yan. No nilagay mo pati trabaho daw. Income tax. You're keeping track. That's 5 minutes. Oh, 5 minutes na lang daw. <laughs> May CCTV pala. Susunod ko yan pala sana. No? <laughs> Kala nyo yung documentation na ka- nire-record pala lahat ng mga sinusulat nyo. Ideal partner. Mahabang hair. Naka black, gray pants, white shoes. Mm. May dim- dapat may dimples. Para lang anak namin may dimples. Oh, abnormal ito. Oh, abnormality to. Genetic abnormality. Okay lang kit. Abnormal ka nga. Sige, sorry. <laughs> Dok abang normal 
Like, <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 uh, yung isang napakagandang line is uh, You might think that he only exists in your mind Guess what? You're right! Two minutes na lang! May nagsulat ba? Two minutes! Parang kayo daw walang nagsulat Oh! May may bagwal sa kayo dito Two minutes! More than five. At least more than five. Nag at least ka na nga. Siyempre naman siya may higilig more than five. First page, mga 15. Sa likod, may 11. Nakamagiging single din talaga. Nakamagiging single din talaga. <laughs> All right. Oh, pagkatapos nyo ah, you can uh, close, fold. Kulang pa, kulang. Kulang yung time. Kulang yung paper. <laughs> Naubusan na ng tinta. By faith. <laughs> 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 Makarelate ba kayo sa mga... Okay, sige, fold na. Again, sabi ko nga, wag itapon, sorry, hindi. Wala, grabe naman. May bonfire tayo dito. Sunugin natin, tapos pag, hindi. Suspect pangalan. I guess, um, we, even if you don't open your, ano, kasi I, I'm sure alam nyo naman kung ano yung pinagsusulap nyo. So, isipin niyo how many of you listed anong itsura niya? Color ng hair? Meron bang naglista ng kulay ng buhok? Height? Height meron. Weight? <laughs> may naglagay ba ng weight? <laughs> Vital signs? Kailangan po normal yung gusto. Meron ba sa inyo nagsulat ng educational attainment? Wala. Na, Nag-ano ba? Nag-require ba kayo na dapat college graduate? <laughs> Bakit ganun? Parang hindi ko nilagay. <laughs> Meron bang naglagay ng uh, income? Financially. Oh. Hindi naman tayo naglagay ng uh, dapat nag-earn siya ng six digits per year, per month. Hindi, <laughs> wala daw. O sige. Meron bang nag-describe ng attitude? Or uh, may nag-describe ng personality? 
yung preferred na personality. Okay. Mayroon bang nag-describe ng nationality, ethnicity? Okay, kailangan ba blue ang eyes? Green? Blonde? Fake na blonde? Wala? Okay. Meron ba? Ano pang nilagay nyo? Ah, merong nagbigay na, syempre, andito tayo sa church. Meron ba ang naglagay ng religion? Spirituality? Meron. Okay. Ano pang nilagay nyo? Without saying. Talent. Okay. Yeah. Kailangan meron na kumantat, sumayaw. Okay, hope that, eh, K-pop? K-pop. Ano pa? Ano pa hindi natin naman na-mention na nilagay nyo? Same taste. Same taste in music. Okay, so naganap tayo ng tao sa pareho natin. Okay. All right. So, actually, when I was, I was, I was around your age, so many years ago. Yun din ang listahan ko. Sa ak, nahanapan ko sa isa sa mga journals ko, isa sa mga diaries ko before. Naran talaga ako ng diary entry. Nagulat ako nung nakita ko. Pero my ideal mate. Sabi niya. Nakalagay doon talaga 15 items. Wow. Specific 15. Specific 15 items 'yan. My height. My uh, ano, my IQ. <laughs> may meron pang number ng uh, parang relatives or yung basta hindi raw only child. Ngayon iniisip ko ano mong pinaglalagay ko dito? <laughs> meron siyang, oh, tama. Actually, I uh, was also requiring na meron kaming pagkakapareho sa mga interest. Para meron daw kaming pag-usapan. Nilagay ko din, syempre, dapat Christian. Okay. <laughs> Parang, yes. <laughs> Christian. Andun sa number 15. Ay! Yes, Papa, nakalimutan. Nakalimutan ko! Naman wala Christian. Nilista ko na lahat. Dapat college graduate. Di ka nito yung ano. May pag nag-lit kami, may trabaho na siya. Mas maganda kung meron siyang kotse, bahay at lupa. Ayan ako. And ngayon, single pa rin ako. <laughs> so do you see your future? <laughs> Pero uh, the point I was trying to make actually is Ngayon Yung listahan na yun Kung iti-check ko siya The only thing that's applicable is yung number 15 <laughs> <laughs> at my age, tinanggal ko na lahat. Okay, hindi na kailangan at least five, ten. Kahit maliit na siya, okay lang. <laughs> hindi na kailangan at least dalawa ang kapatid niya. Kahit only child siya, okay na. <laughs> hindi na kailangan may bahay siya, kotse at lupa pag nag nagkita kami. Kahit wala na. Ako nang bahala. Yeah! <laughs> Joke na yun. Nakarecord pala ako. Baka bigla ka na. Balik mo magpahanap na lang. Yung ano na, number 15 na lang ang requirement ko. Pero ang ano kasi yan is, I realized na yung mga hinihingi ko was a little superficial. Uh, yes, meron akong mga hinihingi na medyo malalim kasi naghahanap ako ng um, nakakausap, naghahanap ako ng medyo kapareho ko na um, pareho kami ng goals. Kasi when you enter into marriage, you have to have the same values. ba? Diba? That was what I discovered at age 
12 years ago. No. I'm now 42. Oh. <laughs> Tanong ko, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, sa inyo, sino sa inyo ang my parents na 42 years old? Edad niya ngayon is 42. Okay, so yeah, let's add five years. Sino ang parents ay around 47? Ayun. I'm over there. Uh, another five years? More. Uh, around 55. <clears throat> ay, tanongin mo. Ar around 50. 50 higher. <laughs> higher. 55. Almost. Okay. 55. Na nasa 60 na. Okay. Sino dito ang hindi alam ang age ng mga magulang nila? Bakit hindi kayo nag-raise? <laughs> Kaya hindi kayo nag-raise ng hand. So, for some of you, yung mga age ng parents nyo, malapit na sa age ko. ba? In, in like five years, meron nang five years pa lang, meron na akong dapat kaedad. Uh, in another five years, may kaedad na si Ate Che. Yeah. Ganyan na kalalaki yung mga anak namin dapat. <laughs> yeah, yun lang ano nila eh. If yung mother namin uh, got married at the age of 21. By 22, 22? Pinanganak na si Ate Che. So, my mother at the age of 22, may isang anak na. At the age of 13, two, tatlo na yung anak niya. At the age of 37, kompleto na kami. Lima na kami. Now I'm thinking, I am now 42. If compare ko yung buhay ko sa buhay ni na mama, dapat kompleto na rin pamilya ko. Dapat nagpapaaral na rin ako ng college. <laughs> ba yun? Hindi pa naman. I volunteer as tribute. Dapat pinag, may pinag-aaral na ako. May, pinapaka, may pinapalaki na ako. Pero ngayon, ang pinapalaki ko, pusa. Cat mom. Si ate Che, cat, uh, dog mom. Pero, Hindi ako nanghihinayang. <laughs> yeah. Hindi ako nanghihinayang na wala pa akong isa sa inyo. <laughs> okay. And actually, yun ang gusto kong pag-usapan natin today. Though pinagsulat ko kayo ng inyong mga ideal, there's a likely possibility na you're never going to meet that ideal. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sana hindi ko na sinulat para hindi ko na nalaman kung anong gusto kong magkaroon. It's still okay to know who you want to have in the future. Who you'd like to meet. That's all okay. Pero let us all remember na like me and Ate Che, it may be that in the future, you're not going to find that ideal partner. Okay? Parang nasad kayo lahat. Ayoko na! Ayoko na! Nobody wants my life. <laughs> okay. Let me prove that my life is okay. Ganun eh. So, um, hindi lang naman actually kami ang single dito, no? So, uh, this camp is actually in cooperation with the singles of the church. Uh, ang age group ng singles is from 30, 32 and above. Going there, uh, andun na tayo sa age na yon. So, actually may mga singles na dito pero nag youth pa rin ang feeling nila. <laughs> pero, uh, pe pero you know, uh, okay lang yun. Nasa transition pa, hindi pa niya natatanggap na single talaga siya. 
<laughs> I identify as single. Sabi mo, next time. <laughs> Pero yun nga. <laughs> And, um, ang pagiging single, na, marami naman nang nakapag-aral nito. Pati sa Bible, actually. If you remember Paul, di ba? Uh, isang gustong-gusto kong kinukot is, if you're single, it's better to remain single. <laughs> yeah, pero may context yun, na <laughs> Kaya, <laughs> don't, don't take it all, ano. May, may context yun. And um, sometimes, I think, meron tayong mga naririnig na, uh, ano ba? lies me or misconceptions about being single and i yun ang gusto kong pag-usapan natin <clears throat> okay. number one, uh like i said kanina it's possible you will not get married okay in this group pwede na lahat kayo magpakasal but there's also a possibility na merong hindi all right kasi ang sabi ni, hindi naman sinabi ni Lord, I will provide for you your perfect husband. Hindi niya sinabi yon Sabi niya, I will provide your needs. Oh! oh Tapos na! May na tayo! May na ano na! May nakuha na kayo! Ay, take away na! We're done! Yeah. Ibibigay ng Panginoon ang kailangan mo. Yung kailangan mo may not be a husband or may not be a wife. But the promise of God is that He will provide what you need. O, oh, ba? Diba? So, yun ang isang truth. So, is it possible I will not get married? Yes. Because sabi ni Lord, hindi marriage ang kailangan mo. What you need is this. What you need is this. So I will give you this. Yung. Okay. Tapos na tayo. Pwede na tayong muwi. Dapat ako maging nigi. Okay. Maybe me. Okay. Another thing is kahit na It's a possibility na hindi ka magpakasal. You are still very, very loved. Yun. Ngayon pa lang, di ba? Bakit kayo andito? Ba dahil may nagmamahal sa inyo? Yeah! Let's go home! We're done! <laughs> <laughs> okay, pa pakitawag na yung jeep. Uwi na. <laughs> ah, ang, syempre, ang pinaka nagmamahal sa'yo ang Panginoon. Yeah. Amen. Amen, di ba? Pero yun nga, ang, ang dahilan na dito kayo, is pinadala kayo dito dahil may nagmamahal sa inyo. Pwede yung mga kamag-anak nyo, yung churchmate nyo, Well, uh, ang mga to, ang mga nagyaya sa inyo dito ay mahal kayo, kaya kayo pinapunta rito. <laughs> That's how loved you are. Okay? Um, ang isa pang lie kasi na sinasabi sa ating mga sa amin na mga single. Kayo pa kasi nasa youth pa kayo. But there's a possibility kasi that you'll be joining us. <laughs> You'll be joining, uh, but can I cheer? <laughs> But you can be, you might join us, okay? But sabi kasi nila, pag single ka, hindi ka nakukontento. Pero that's really not true. <laughs> Sa sandali, wala pa. Wala pa, wala pa, wala pa yung point. <laughs> point less puppy. Point less puppy. <laughs> Uh, being contented kasi is a decision. Uh, <laughs> decision kasi na maging okay ka lang where you are. Okay? It's not... <laughs> Fresh drop. Wala kasi tayong mic. Ito na lang. Ay, hindi. Huwag masisira. Um, oo. Pwede kang mag-desire na magkaroon ng partner. But there is actually a point in your life na pwede kang okay being on your own. 
pwede, an, ano ba yun? I haven't seen the show, pero yung walang kaparis, pwedeng wala kang kapair talaga. No? It's really possible and it's okay to be content with just being who you are. And with who you are. <clears throat> Yun kasi ang importante eh. Is that you're happy. Actually, this is what I wanted to show about contentment. <laughs> Saan pa punta to? And the Bangkok. Bangkok. <laughs> Bangkok lang pal. I, I just want to <laughs> content ako sa sarili ko because I can go. <laughs> and sa game natin kanina, <laughs> sa game natin kanina, I think lahat kayo pumunta sa akin when you said dun sa box ng loves traveling ano. Uh -oh. I I do love traveling. Ate Che and I, we love traveling. And we are able to, not just because we're single, <laughs> because we're happy kung nasaan kami. Okay, airdrop. Cell phone yan. Hindi, dadating yan. That comes. Um, maybe, hindi ka agad-agad. Okay. Uh, it's a conscious decision to be happy where you are. Okay? Hindi kailangang pa airline ticket ang pinagprintan mo ng iyong talk. <laughs> Pwede namang ano? <laughs> Pwede ng iba? <laughs> Lotto? Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> and, and one more truth siguro that we have to remember is God <laughs> is that you are where God wants you to be it's also part of the being contented actually and dito ako sa position na to dahil dito ako linagay ng Panginoon and dito ako in this uh, status my relationship status. Because this is where God placed me. Anong mga proof ko doon? Yeah. Yeah. And every, I, hindi, hindi kasi lahat eh. Pero, uh, isang naging ano namin ni Ate Che is that we bring the worship team to, yeah, my, to Planet Shakers na concert. Uh, nung nakita, nung uh, una kasi we experienced the concert on our own and naramdaman namin na it's something we want to be able to share. Doon ko na-realize din that okay lang talaga maging single kasi dahil single ako, wala akong pinag-aaral. So nakakapag-attend tayo ng concert. Yo! Ng libre, <laughs> di ba? <laughs> <laughs> and alam ko na well from the testimony of those who were able to go dito ata wala pa no wala pang nakasama sa andito lahat <laughs> yung mga nakasama ng sa planet shakers na part ng worship team medyo life changing din naman siya di ba you saw what it was like to to worship with this world class na worship leaders and not only that when we attended meron din kasi silang mga lecture series and sabi ko i guess this is it this is what god wants me to help the church with so alam ko na okay so no boyfriend but I've got a lot of friends. No. And I'm bringing a lot of friends to Christ. No. Diba? <laughs> ano pa nga ba? Alright. <laughs> so, isa, ang point dun is, hindi ako, um, I'm also not ashamed of being single. Kasi in some cultures, actually, ang pagiging single ay parang, uh, yeah, <laughs> parang ano ba, what's wrong with you? <laughs> parang abnormal ka kung wala kang asawa, wala kang anak. In some cultures, the goal is to have a family. And sa Pilipinas then sometimes we buy into that. 
ba parang ah uh, lahat tayo nanonood ng Disney no lahat doon ang happy ending is nagkatuluyan sila kung hindi sila nagkatuluyan bad ending siya pati sa K-drama <laughs> di ba pag naghiwalay sila in the end bad ending happy ending lang siya kung nagkatuluyan sila on the end tama And culture is telling you that that is the happy ending. Uh, familiar kayo sa Little Mermaid? Disney. Disney's Little Mermaid. Alam nyo ba yung totoong ending nun? Totoong ending ng Little Mermaid? Yeah. Sa Disney ending, nag-ano siya, uh, pinigilan nyo yung wedding, you know, and naging sila ni Prince Eric. Pero sa totoong ending, sa totoong story ng Little Mermaid, <coughs> oh, si, <laughs> kasi wala namang Ursula. <laughs> Hindi niya pinakasalan si Ursula. Yung prince actually never saw the Little Mermaid as someone na pwede niyang pakasalan. Because remember, the story is, yeah, was never, was never an option. Tama yan. Sad. She, uh, Prince Eric or the Prince in Little Mermaid found the Little Mermaid na parang ano lang, um, nahanapan lang niya at the, sa, sa, beside the sea. Remember, he's a prince. He's supposed to marry a princess. The Little Mermaid is not a princess on the surface. Kahit na prinsesa siya sa ilalim ng dagat, sa ibabaw ng dagat, hindi siya prinsesa. So, in no place, except in England, ewan ko, <laughs> would a prince, ngay ngayon, noon, no way, uh, no way would a prince marry someone na nakita niya sa tabi ng dagat. Kahit na ano pang sabihin sa inyo ng fairy tale. And actually, the Little Mermaid had a choice. If patayin niya si prince, yung prince, and the blood na nasa knife niya, ilalagay niya sa kanyang paa, she can go back to being a mermaid, and pwede siyang maging ano ulit, maging prinsesa ulit siya sa ilalim ng dagat. Again, she can live her life. She chose to jump and become sea foam instead. So, nag, na mili siya na magpakamatay kaysa sa bumalik sa pagiging mermaid. Because ganun daw niya kamahal yung prinsipe. <sighs> Naging sad ulit kayo. <laughs> ang, ang sinasabi ko lang is, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Not all relationships will end with a happy ending. No matter how hard you try, Not all relationships are fairy tales. And if you go inside a relationship thinking it's going to be a fairy tale with a happy ever after, remember that most fairy tales end with the wedding. Probably, Ate Fate and Kuya Jeff will tell you there's a story after the wedding. Diba? Minsan kasi, nagko-concentrate lang tayo dun sa wedding party. But what you should invest in is actually the marriage itself. Yung mahabang panahon na magstay kayo together. And you can't do that if you go into a relationship thinking na this person is going to complete me. Anong movie yun? Masyado na. Kayo lang ata nakarelate eh. Sila lang naka-relate. Sample! Oo. So, ang... Okay lang naman manood pa rin ng K-drama. Hindi kita pipigilan. Nanonood pa rin ako or, ng, ng K-drama. I still like happy endings. Uh, pero, wag nyo lang... Don't get out of that uh, show or that movie thinking that everything is going to be wrapped up like a bow and your ending will be happily ever after. Okay? Happily ever after actually takes a lot of work. 
not only af during yung wedding, but after. Para maging happy ka ever after. May trabaho muna yan. Okay. And that kind of work has to be put in habang single ka. Gets ba natin yun? I don't know if I place the... Dapat kasi, kompleto ka na, full ka na, before ka pumasok sa isang relationship. Kasi kailangan pareho kayo, full kayo. Hindi pwedeng kalahati siya, kalahati ka para maging one. <laughs> <laughs> hindi yun yung sabi nila eh, that's my better half kasi if you get, go into a relationship thinking you're looking for your better half you will become the better half okay dapat you are sa, sa bible actually sabi niya one and one become one <laughs> hindi naging one plus one become two one and one become one flesh so hindi sinabi ni Lord na one half and one half become one flesh. Buo yung isa, buo rin yung isa para maging isa. Okay? So bago tayo pumasok sa isang relationship na supposedly for life, Pasensya na, marami na tayong napagdaanan at hindi for life lahat ng pinapasukan. Pero sabi nga nila, yung mga hindi nagiging for life, usually dahil hindi ka kompleto nung pumasok ka sa isang relasyon. So is it okay for me to wait until I'm complete? Okay na okay. <laughs> Oh. Pwedeng pwede na mag-antay muna ako hanggang alam kong kompleto na ako bago ako pumasok sa isang relationship. Kasi kung kompleto ka na pumasok sa isang relationship with someone who is also just as complete as you, hindi na magiging bitter half ang kausap mo. Ano ba yung complete? Ang mga ko lang sa iyo si Lord. Yon. Yon. You, thank you for that question. That was the next point. <laughs> oh, pwede na. Patawag na yung pakitawag na yung jeep. Ah, <laughs> uh, pumasa na po si Kevin. Pwede na po siya. Pwede na po siya maging single. Pwede ka na ang facilitator, tumayo ka na. <laughs> Certified single ka na. <laughs> okay. So, ang pagiging single, ang pagiging married, they are not uh, better than each each other. Okay? Siguro minsan, uh, yun nga, nasa kulturo kasi natin eh, na kailangan maging married ka para kompleto ka. Well, dito sa church natin, being married or being single is equal. I love this church. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, Lord. Dito sa CHCC, <laughs> hindi ka pipiliting magpakasal yeah. at hindi ka rin pipiliting maging single. <laughs> 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 Kasi either way, meron kang ministry. Yeah. Either way, if you are a married person or you are a single per person, meron kang role sa church. And actually, yun lang naman ang gusto namin sabihin. <laughs> okay lang magpakasal. Okay lang na hindi. Kasi yung relationship status mo, gagamitin pa rin ng Panginoon yan, single ka man or married. Um, siguro... Ang, ang goal ko siguro today is for you to change your mind kung hindi pa nagbabago. Ang pag-iisip nyo tungkol sa pagiging single. Pinag-iisipan niya na? Oo, 
Okay, single na ako. Break na tayo. Hindi yun na. Delikado pala itong tong talk na to. Mali. Mali yung tinake home. Hindi ko sinabi na maging single na tayo lahat. Sabi ko lang, it's okay. Kung yun talaga ang kailangan mo, it's okay. If marriage is what you need or what God thinks you need, then marriage it is. If singlehood is what God thinks you need, then it is. And the thing is, you have to think of being single or being married as equal. Okay lang magpakasal, okay lang hindi. Gagamitin ka pa rin ng Panginoon, may asawa ka man at anak, or wala. Okay. I think uh, na-prove na yun ng, ng church natin time and time again. Okay. I'm not encouraging you to stay single. <laughs> kasi, kasi baka may magreklamo sa akin na bakit sinasabi mo na maging single na lang sila. <laughs> In, uh, well, hindi na daw po kami magkapapakasal kasi oh, mas maganda daw po maging single. <laughs> marami na, mas marami daw pong advantage sa magig, pagiging single kaysa sa being married. Sa isip-isip ko lang totoo yun. <laughs> Ay, nasa camera. Oops. <laughs> But what I'm just saying is whichever ang maging relationship status nyo in the future, Okay? It's fine. God will use you either way. But you have to be able to see this status of yours as a way to serve God. Use your singlehood or your couplehood <laughs> or, or your, your marriage. Hindi ko alam ko. Ano bang other? Being married or being single, use it To serve the Lord. Yun lang actually. Ang gusto kong sabihin sa inyo. Kasi ang message ng Panginoon, binigay niya both being married and being single as gifts. Regalo ang pagiging single? Well, sa amin, oo. <laughs> But in the Bible, yes, it's actually a gift to be single. Sabi sa Matthew, uh, not everyone can receive this gift. But for those who will receive it, receive it well. Siguro nga talagang single ako. Or pwede namang coming pa lang yung marriage hood. Yeah. Ano, ba, ano ba talagang dapat na name nun? <laughs> single hood and marriage hood. <laughs> Yan. Pwedeng parating pa lang siya. Or pwedeng eto na. Either way, I'm going to use my relationship status to serve the Lord. Okay? All right. So, for... Okay, Nana. No? So, I have a activity that will again require you to have... Ah, yeah. Ba bago pala <laughs> ako magpa-activity. May gusto ba kayong tanungin? Again, no holds barred. Uh, pwede nating i-edit yung ano or naka-focus lang sa akin yung <laughs> camera <laughs> Sige para yung questions nyo if you ever you have any questions 